I don't even know what happened, but Asmin's always wrong. Uh, no, not in this case. No. In the case of the Taliesin situation, yeah, I don't think Asmin's wrong. For those needing context, Taliesin recently stated that Asmund Gold has had nothing but bad takes for years. Everything he says these days is the worst fucking take you've ever had. In the last year or so, literally every take he has is literally the worst take any human has ever had. Which devolved into a lengthy discussion about the topic. Naturally, Asmund Gold caught wind of this and responded. And subsequently, Taliesin was dragged through the ringer. He, he hasn't grown on Twitch in, in five years, and he's been doing the same content for a long time. And so this is the real reason why he's mad at me. None of this would really be worthy of commentary until Taliesin said this. I mean, everyone's racist as fuck right now. You know that. You like Asman. Come on. So, yeah, painting an entire community with a wide brush that doesn't even apply to the initial target struck a particular chord. Especially since we endured a very similar bit of hyperbole not too long ago. He threw all his toys out the pram. He had a fucking meltdown, which is fine. But then he called everyone who plays this game and everyone who makes content about this game bad people. That is objectively incorrect. And so Pyro was inclined to share his thoughts. Taliesin did kind of a similar thing that he did to me, where he made the claim in a video that that I said that people that made World of Warcraft content were bad people. Um, and that's that's actually not true. That's like objectively not true. And so I I publicly addressed that and defended myself and said that's not at all actually what I said. And so now for him to make the direct implication that Asmongold is a racist, it's kind of a similar thing. Like you're kind of <laughs> You're really misconstruing the context of a situation to just really paint someone in a very broad stroke, a very negative broad stroke. And so I just, I don't really think that Taliesin is in the right here. I think he should probably just stop talking. But again, his pride and his ego, similarly to mine sometimes, drives him and it blinds him. It's why he gets enraged, guys. It's very clear. The guy struggles with the same Shaw that I do. It's fear, it's pride, and it's anger. It's so clear. And because he gets afraid, pride steps in and anger takes over. That's what happens. Because we fear the challenge, our pride is challenged, and as a result, we lash out with anger. It's not a fucking mystery. And so that guy has some Shaw to fight, just like me and just like a lot of other people. But that's just my opinion on that situation. It doesn't mean Asmin's right about everything, and it doesn't mean Asmin hasn't said some questionable shit in the past. But it does mean that, you know, we just need to sometimes be careful with how we pick our words because slandering people by calling them racist or in a lesser extent, right with me, not as bad as being called a racist, but saying that I believe that everyone who makes video videos for this game is a bad person or plays the game as a bad person, that is just such a, in a, an egregious lie. So yeah, in, in my belief is that what is true wisdom? What is true compassion? Is true compassion and wisdom me looking at that and then saying, yeah, that guy's the fucking villain. Fuck that guy, he's the worst, that type of shit. No, it isn't, because that's not true. That's not, that's not even what it is. Taliesin is plagued by Shaw, and he, and he has to figure out a way, and no one can do it for him, of how to confront those Shaw. And that's what this is all about. Like, <laughs> and that's what you gotta do. And and again, this is not a better than thou or holier than thou type of thing. It's just, it's just the fucking truth. We all have darknesses inside of us, and some of us, some of us are willing to fight that a little bit more than the others, or understand it rather a little bit more than the others, potentially. So I don't know what kind of life or philosophical journey they may be on, but I find that I can I can definitely sift through my emotions and develop a greater inner sense of peace um in what i'm in what i'm doing so you know i wish that every human being could have something like the way that i feel right now and what i've been doing in my life and i think that to a degree they can but i also think that you have to want to do it you have to you have to want to do it you know you don't just change from a some a certain kind of person into a different one and and I do believe people can change, but you have to want it. You have to want to do it. And sometimes our 
Our pride and our ego can convince us that there is nothing to change. I don't need to change. I'm good the way I am. I'm I'm this way and that's who I am and that's great. But if you're a dick, maybe you should not. You know, maybe if you're a dick, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Never understand Twitch drama, to be fair, everything I've heard, Tally just doesn't like you, and that's okay. I look, Tally Essen sees me as a as a as a villain, and and that's okay. I think the natural proclivity would be that I see him as a villain too, but that's not the case. It's not the case. Believe it or not, I see him more as a person that is way more like me than he even realizes, and it might piss him off. But I think he's way more similar to me than he would even like to, to admit. And I and and so, yes, to a degree, there is a level of, of pity, honestly. And, and I don't mean to be condescending or uh, or anything in saying that, but there is a level of pity when I when I see him blow up and I see him get frustrated. And like I've said before, it feels like the I can I can almost feel the sensations that he's feeling. You know, it's almost like. The words start flowing and, and, and the room gets hot and, and, and the walls start to kind of close in and you almost kind of tunnel vision because you're just defend, defend, defend. My ego is being challenged. My existence is being challenged. My worth is being challenged. And if you can't develop a sense of security in those things, then they're going to tear, they're going to tear you apart, man. They're going to fucking eat you alive. And so... That's all. I don't, I don't want, I'm not a, I'm not a fucking villain. I'm not looking for the downfall or, or suffering of these other people. I do, I'm not interested in that. I, it's in, 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 in irony chat, in, in a way, perhaps the, the World of Warcraft content creator drama sphere is also a bit of a war within. I mean, we're, we're, we act like we're all in opposition to one another, but we're not. <laughs> we all come from the same thing, a love for World of Warcraft, don't we? We all love the same fucking thing, and yet we allow our opinions and political beliefs and stuff to divide us in ways that are unnecessary. And so we are divided, you know? I, we are a community divided in many ways, and that's a fucking shame. And like, I think that there is a tremendous amount of value in figuring out how to unite us. Like, and lifting each other up, you know, not not burying each other for the sake of clicks and views, because at the end of the day, we're just feeding our own ego by doing that, you know? And, oh, someone's gonna get the W and someone's gonna get the L and like all that dumbass shit. That doesn't mean anything. It's, it's about, it's about, it's about something else. It's not about that. It's not about the clicks and the views and all that shit. All this shit's... All this shit is temporary. It's all it's all temporary. And when we're old, things will be different. And so, it's just... That's the way I, that's the way I see it. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not the best at, like, being a, a community, you know, a pillar, necessarily. Like, I haven't been, you know, I've said some hurtful things and I've burned some bridges in the past. And that's why Taliesin doesn't like me. And so... That's why I don't I don't really hold that against him because because I burned some bridges um, and then I flipped them off on the other side of the river looking back at them. So it, it you know, I can't you can't blame someone when you have done yourself harm, when you've done your own image harm because you can't keep your shit in line. And that's what happened with me. Um, so, again, it is it's our responsibility as individuals. And I think that we have the willpower and the free will in order to make those changes. And I think many people believe that their personality and behavior is dictated by the unconscious void that is in them, the darkness, but I think that that's not true. I think that you can learn to wield it, you can learn from it, and if you can recognize your darknesses, you can turn them into strengths, and and uh, and that's what we're gonna do. So, um, so yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sure I'll be raging about some dumb in-universe bullshit in like 30 minutes, so, uh, you know, don't count your chickens, um, but, uh, but you guys know, uh, hopefully at this point that, um, I've, I've gotten better at controlling my anger for sure. And I try to get mad about things that are, that are worth getting mad about. I try not to let shit that's not a big deal bother me anymore, but sometimes I, I fail. Um, so yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, that's, 
that's all I've got for that. <laughs> um, and thank you guys for listening to me. I know I, I always worry that this is going to come off as like some kind of sanctimonious bluster, that it sounds self-righteous and holier than thou. And I just want you to know that I do not feel that way. I don't think that I'm better for, for trying to tackle these things. I don't think I'm superior. Uh, in fact, in some ways, it, 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 it makes me a little just kind of, I don't know, sad sometimes because I think everyone can have it in them. And, um, and like I've said before, I think sometimes we just kind of put prisons around ourselves that we, that we didn't have to. Um, and, 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 and like I've said before, we have to stop and realize that the jailer holding the key is sometimes us. Um, and that if you really want to be free of, of your darknesses, that, that you need to be able to turn that key and uh and let them out healthily in a way that isn't going to consume everything else <laughs>